Are you sick and tired of your Minecraft screen looking like this and you want to make it look like this? Well, stick around and find out how to get this brand new Minecraft Bedrock UI, which works on PC and on mobile device. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Minecraft Bedrock Edition content by me, your friendly neighborhood crow. Before I show you how to get this brand new UI, let's take a look at all the cool reskins of the home screen. Like I said, it's a complete reskin. So over here at the top left, you can see all your invites, which for me, sadly zero. And that just makes me want to tell you guys, if you want me to see your Minecraft worlds, make sure to send me an invite. I would love to check them out and play with you guys. And on the top right, as you can see, it has my channel logo, which is linked to my Xbox account, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little addition. And I like seeing it up there because I really like it. And over here on the right edge of the screen, we have all our regular things. We have our settings and wait for it because it's going to make a really loud noise. I really like that. For some reason, it just makes me happy hearing the anvil sound. But just like anything, it's just your settings all completely. And I don't know, it just looks really nice and vibrant. I really love it. You just, I don't know. To me, it seems really cool. And once again, you can see my channel logo over here at the top. Over here, you can check all your achievements. And for me, sadly, I only have 47 of 188. That's very sad. I should be ashamed. I should have all of these. But at least I have them all in Java. So, you know, that's that's something else. We have the marketplace where you can buy whatever you need and has a nice little villager noise, which is really funny. And another really cool thing is you have your armor right here or your dressing room, which is pretty cool. I don't have any other skins or they look like they're not loading anymore, which is very sad. But another cool thing is in the main menu itself, if you click your avatar, it brings you there automatically, which to me, I don't know, it seems kind of cool to me. So let's go ahead and generate a brand new world. So we're going to go ahead and click play. And you can see all your worlds that you have right here, all your friends. I don't have any friends, sadly. So go ahead and send me some invites. And over here as well, you have all the servers that you can possibly join or add. Totally cool. But let's go ahead and make a brand new world. We're going to go ahead and create new, create new world. And, you know, it's just the same thing. We have all the same stuff, which just is like new aesthetic, which I really like. And we're just going to go ahead and create a new one. And here we are in our brand new Minecraft world. And what's the first thing you can see? The hotbar. The hotbar is so cool. And we're going to go ahead and open up our inventory real quick. And I personally like how this looks. It has like this nice bluish tint and everything is transparent in the background. And then let's go ahead and add some things to our inventory and we pull them back up. Look how cool that is. It is less obtrusive than anything else. I really, really like this. But like normal, you know, we just have everything. But to me, it just adds something pretty cool and it just looks really nice. Look at me. Little me approves of this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And on top of that, you have this brand new cursor, which I think is kind of big. It could be a little bit smaller, but you can always change that by going into the files and changing it to a regular one or a custom one that you have. And let's go ahead and go into the chat. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. You're just going to type uh, something else like hello and just go ahead and send that in. And it appears up here like that. And to me, that looks really nice because it kind of like blends into whatever you're doing. So it's not a complete black box like it regularly is. Now we're going to go ahead and pause the game. For me, since I'm playing on PC slash Windows 10, I'm going to go ahead and press escape. And it's going to pull up this little thing right here where I is a little me right here at the bottom. Look at me. I'm shaking my head. I approve of this. I approve of this. But as well, it just has all the same things and I just really like it. So like over here, you can take a screenshot or whatever. Check your settings about the UI, go to marketplace, your achievements, change your skin or just save and quit, which is what we're going to go ahead and do. But yeah, you guys, there you have it. That is the brand new UI that you can get for your Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And once again, you can get this on PC and on your mobile devices. I'm not exactly sure if you can get this on console, but if anybody tries to do this and get it on there, let me know if it works and I'll pin your comment. Now, let me show you how to download this from a browser because you have to go to mcpedl.com to find this, but you're going to find the link for this exact UI down in the description below. So once you go ahead and click the link, it's going to bring you to this page right here. All you want to do is scroll down or unless you want to read everything that it has to tell you, go ahead, but scroll all the way down and right here where it says downloads, you want to go click the first one because it's an MC pack. And once you launch that, it's going to automatically install that into your Minecraft system. I already downloaded it, but I'm going to do it again just to show you guys because sometimes MCPEDL does have a lot of ads and it sometimes it makes it a little hard to download anything that you want. I'm going to go ahead and download this first one up here. 
It's going to ask you if I'm a robot. Obviously, I am not. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to wait. Just going to wait for this bar to load up because it's just the ads that are playing and, and all that stuff. And we're coming up on 100%. So we're almost there. It looks about that. And we're going to go ahead and click Get Downloads. And like I said previously, download the MC pack because it's going to make it a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and click on that one and it downloads. Boom, as you can see down here. And once you click on it, it's going to launch it. I already have it installed, but I'm going to do it again because I'm on PC. So if you're doing this on PC, just launch it and it'll be all fine. But if you're doing it on mobile, it should be a little bit about the same. Not exactly sure, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to launch. And it should be bringing us back into Minecraft as you can see. Let's give it a few seconds. All right. And as you can tell, it is importing, but I already have it installed. So it's kind of redundant. And as you can tell, fail to import QBUI, duplicate pack detected. So it would have successfully done it if I didn't have it. But since I already do, there's no point in it. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this showcase for the new Minecraft UI. I personally really love it. I think it adds something different to the feel of Minecraft. I'm sorry I've been away for so long, but I plan on coming back soon within a couple months when I'm done with college. I hope you guys have a good one, and as always, peace.